Right, so today I'm gonna to take you guys through my gym routine. I do this basically so I can land tricks a lot better and like my muscles can withstand the impact of stairs. Also, you can pop a lot higher if you like train your calf and thigh muscles and stuff like that. And if you're gonna fall and land on your hands, I've got some wrist techniques that are gonna make that so much easier for you as well and a lot nicer on your body. We're gonna try and keep it as low key as possible. I'm probably gonna green screen myself over some of the stuff at the gym as well. And I know a lot of people will say like, they cannot afford the gym or maybe they haven't got the money for it or whatever, but there are ways that you can get around that, right? Say for example, you live in a place like me and you can't drink water out of the tap because tap water where I live is absolutely trash and you regularly buy bottled water, right? If you regularly buy bottled water, just buy one bottle and just constantly refill it at the filtered water place at the gym. That way, say if you spend a pound a day on water and the gym membership is 30 pounds, which is how much my one is, then you make the money back just off doing that. And you can also take all your showers and stuff at the gym as well. So if you're like me and you live in your own place or with your girlfriend or whatever, and you have to pay the water bill yourself, you can save so much money just by doing that and taking all your showers there. We're also gonna go over the sauna and the benefits that, that has for skateboarding. So this should be a good video. I'm not gonna make it too long. I'm gonna get through all my workout fairly quickly because I only spend about half an hour in the gym. And trust me, that is all you need. Most people who go to the gym and sit there for an hour spend like half that time just sitting on their phone scrolling TikTok. So we don't do that at the gym. We get in there, do our shit, and then we get out. So we're almost at the gym. Let's get in. Here we go. Hopefully it's a quiet one today. Right, so just before we get into the gym routine, basically what I'm here for is to talk you through how many reps I'm doing, how many sets I'm doing of each rep, what the weights are, what the machine is going to do with your body and actually help you with, and just give you some pointers, tips and tricks in order to stay consistent in the gym. First things first, these routines are going to be here to help you with skateboarding predominantly with your legs, your ankles, your wrists. If you're going to fall, they're going to help you catch yourself without spraining the wrist. If you're doing a stair set, you're going to be able to withstand the impact of landing better. And for popping your tricks, these are going to help with getting your kickflip from a single to a double flip and also getting your ollie from an inch to a foot high. So now that you know what you're here for, and also it's gonna help massively with your mental health if you can commit to a routine like this. So with all that being said, let's jump straight in. Right, let's get straight into it. So this first machine that I'm hitting is like a leg press. What you wanna do is you wanna take one of them gym plates either side, they're like 25 kg normally, right? So I'm gonna pause it here real quick and give you a little bit of information. For these workouts, I don't want you to go for the biggest weight you think you can possibly do, because at the end of the day, we wanna be hitting this and then still going to skate afterwards. The sauna is going to help with the soreness quite a lot, but we don't want to go super high because we don't want to be pushing our muscles too far. We just want to do a bit of maintenance and actually grow the muscle tissue. So I would say this one, go for like 40 to 50 kg. That's 25 or 20 on each side. I personally go for 25 on each side, but if you wanted to go max, you could literally go for 150 on each side and still do it. But at the end of the day, after that, you are going to be struggling. First thing you want to do, as you can see on the screen here, is a little bit of a stretch. We're going to pull our knees back to our ass, pretty much. This is going to stretch out our legs and then ankles. We're also going to do some ankle exercises on this machine. So make sure you spin them around all the way. Try and get as big a rotation as you possibly can and do that with both ankles. Now that we've done that, we're going to jump onto the machine and just sit on it exactly how you see me sitting on it. Lift up the bars to the left and right of you to release the machine's pressure and then just start doing it. Pull your knees up. Don't go fully straight on your legs once you push them out because if you get stuck, you can bust the knee on that. So be careful with this one. Also, if you go to the gym and you've never been there before, get a personal trainer or someone that did you, does you an induction of the gym to go through and show you how to use some of these machines properly because it will help you massively to have that information under your belt. For this one, I do three sets of 10 to 15 each time. So I think I usually, I'd say on average, I do 12. So you want to do 12 reps, so 12 in a row. Stop for 30 seconds to a minute, no more than a minute, by the way, because you don't want to lose that pump, and then go for another 12 and do that three times. The second exercise that I'm doing here, because I'm doing something called supersetting, which basically means two exercises, then stop, two exercises, then stop, two exercises, then stop. For this one, I like to do it like that because the machine is already set up in the exact place you need it, and this one is called the the calf raises. So what you do for here is you see where my feet are, you just have your toes on the thing and you just point your foot forward and backwards exactly how you see me doing it. This one does your calf muscles and it's so good for getting your pop super high. The first one you just see me do, the leg press, is great for getting your pop high, but this one is great for also getting your flick of a kick flip nice and precise. So I'm on my second set here. I tried to get a few different angles, but obviously I'm not trying to film loads of random people in the gym. And then again, I go straight for it and do the calf raises again. I only film two sets because 
I didn't really have a third angle to do it for. But yeah, these two are some of the most important ones. And just having that like calf raise one is not only going to strengthen your ankles up like ridiculously to the point where if you land on a bent ankle and roll it, you're most likely just going to ping back and be fine. Like I've done that tons of times. And before I did this exercise, I always used to hurt so much more than it does now. And also when you land on a stair set, having them strong leg muscles when you land at the bottom, instead of sometimes when you hit a, like a big drop, you might just fold and the board will shoot out from under you. When you do stuff like this, it helps you to crouch down, withstand the impact and manage to roll away, even if you don't have as much speed as you might normally require if you don't have these leg muscles. So it is a massive help either way for both of these, but I think the calf raises are the most important. Next, we're gonna do a wrist exercise. So we're just using low weights for this one. Don't try and be Billy Big Bollocks. I usually go for five kg in each arm. And what you wanna do is hold your arms like close to your chest like this. So there's no space between your elbows and chest. And then have your arms exactly how you see mine. And just back, forth, back, forth. Exactly how you see me doing it. This one's gonna help you massively for when you fall and have a stack. If you land on your wrist or your hand, if it bends back and sprains, these are gonna strengthen up your wrist to the point where they're just gonna withstand that and you're gonna be so much better off from doing this. I only added this one into my routine about three months ago and the difference I've seen since, because I always fall on my hands, as you guys know, I cut my hand up quite a lot. The difference is huge on this one. Okay, now this one here is probably the toughest one to do and this is the squat. Normally I wouldn't do such a high weight. On this one, the bar weighs 25 and each plate weighs 25. So this is a 75 kg squat. Normally I would go for like 60 kg or maybe even 40 on something like this because I would like generally keep the squat a lot deeper. You'll see when I go down in a second. But yeah, you want to keep it on your shoulders go down the further you go down the better but this one was quite heavy for me as the only plates available were the 25s so i only go for six reps on this one but normally i would go for a lower weight like 40 kg and do like eight reps on this one and do three sets i do three sets of every different exercise in this video and in my day to day as well this one again is great for getting your ollies higher like if you can train those legs you'll be able to jump like twice the height of a normal skateboarder and if you want to actually get the ollies to a point where you can train the height a great way to train the height at the skate park is to like set up a skateboard on its side ollie over it set another one on top ollie over it and trust me before i did stuff like this i could do maybe like three or four but i've since ollied seven boards stacked up on each other just off flat ground actually no sorry six off flat ground i think i did seven out of the mini out of the small like little kicker ramp but yeah you can get some massive ollies from doing stuff like this and now this one is going to help with your impact training again this is the leg curl what you do for this one is just pick your weight by pulling out that thing putting it in the weight you want personally i do 45 but you can do as little as like 20 to 30 on this one especially if you're just beginning and then just do exactly how you see me doing it right here just put your legs in between the things and just curl them pull them towards you got a second angle of this one as well the gym was so busy today man it's crazy like and bear in mind right a lot of you may be thinking like maybe i don't want to do stuff like this for my skateboarding but even if you don't do it for your skateboarding for your mental health this is going to help you so goddamn much right for example if you're suffering from depression or something like that if you're someone that just doesn't do anything physical or only skateboards every now and then or you just sit in your house think about it like this right the body that you're in is literally designed by thousands and hundreds of thousands of years of evolution for chasing animals through jungles through deserts deserts through all this that and the other with spears to try and catch food for your tribe that's what's been done in the majority of human history if you're now in your evolution line just sitting around doing nothing your body is going to crave this kind of exercise and this kind of physical fitness so even if you just do it for that reason these things are massive for your mental health man like one thing that i find for the gym is that if you go there and keep it as a routine not only will you look better and feel better about yourself you'll also feel way way better so do it for yourself do it for your skateboarding but just keep in mind that these things are to make you a better person and don't do it for any other outside reasons other than to look after yourself this one again three sets i do 12 reps in each set next up we've got the leg extension which is a very very similar machine usually right next to the one we just did this one 
opposite instead of pulling the legs towards you you push them out again i go for about 40 to 45 kg on this one but you can do anywhere between 20 30 and even if you're just starting the gym when i first started the gym i was so weak i was like 17 18 at the time and i could barely do 10 kg so don't be afraid it will work up in time and finally i couldn't feel much here because obviously this is the sauna and you can't really go into the sauna of a bunch of people half naked and film stuff so what you want to do for the sauna is usually for me i would aim for 15 minutes in there and then make sure you hit a cold shower afterwards because the cold shower is what's going to help you massively also doing the sauna is going to reduce the soreness in all of your workouts previous to this it's also worth noting that the sauna is like a muscle just like anything else in the gym you have to train it like the first time you go there you might only be able to sit in there for like three to five minutes it gets easier the more you do it the more you go the more time you spend in there the better it's going to be i would aim though once you've been there a few times to a dozen times aim for 15 minutes even if you have to do five minutes break five minutes break five minutes or 10 minutes break five minutes however you want to do it just aim for 15 minutes and always hit the cold shower afterwards because this is going to benefit your muscles benefit your skin so much so do not neglect the sauna if your gym has one make sure you get involved and try it out at least try it out don't just dismiss it for no reason but anyway guys i think that's about it for this video if you want a gym routine for the top half of the body as well because i do like to train arms and stuff like that just to make sure i'm not out of proportion then i'll be happy to do that and if you have any questions let me know in the comments but until then do this and let me know how it goes for you i'll see you guys in the next video